Hello, this is the on shape tutorial for drawing this angler fish for the CNC plasma cutter or laser cutter. So we're going to first download the sketch of this fish. You can also use a different fish if you choose. It's kind of the same process. So on the next page of the module, we have the file that we're going to download, and that's going to go into your downloads folder on your device. The next part of the module, you're going to upload a screenshot of your Onshape design. So let's get started in Onshape. We're going to start by creating a new document. Oh, my num lock is on. Angler fish 2. Okay. And the first thing we need to do is upload our image by clicking on the bottom left plus. Import. Find our angler fish in your downloads folder. That gets uploaded. And we're going to create a sketch on the top plane, clicking on the top of the view cube. We're going to go to our search tools. We can just type in Alt-C and then type in image. Insert image. I'm going to click on our angler fish picture. Just drag it onto the screen. Press letter D. I'm going to click on this bottom edge. Move it down. Click again. And then type in 9. Enter. So that will give our fish about a total of about 8 inches in length. That will be fine for this one. Okay, to trace, we're going to pretty much utilize the three-point arc tool. We could use the spline tool, but three-point arc tool will get the job done pretty fast. So I'm going to start right here. Click, click, and bend the arc, starting where you stopped at the end point of the previous arc. If you're using a mouse, you can hold down shift, middle mouse button, or the scroll wheel button to drag your screen around. And I'm just going to continue my way around this, doing my best to follow the image, but it doesn't have to be exact. And utilizing the three-point arc. Just go like right there. That looks good. We just want these transitions to be kind of nice and smooth. Up there. Do the teeth. Remember to relax and breathe. That looks good. 
And then I'm going to do the detail lines next. And these lines should not touch the outside line. Could use a circle tool for this inner part of the eyeball, but I'm going to stick with the three-point arc. Doesn't have to be a perfect circle. I think I got one more line right there. And that is complete. Green check mark. We're not going to extrude this because when you extrude it, you'll lose the sketches for the inside lines or the geometry on the inside. So that's all we need to do for the drawing. Take a screenshot, upload that. In the next video, I'll show you how to export the DXF. Thanks for watching.